South Africa's ruling ANC Secretary General Fikile Mbalula today met with his ZANU-PF counterpart, Dr. Obert Mpofu in Harare. After the meeting, he toured the liberation city site being constructed a few kilometers west of Harare city center. Mbalula was part of the South African delegation which attended President Emerson Mnangagwa's inauguration on Monday. ZTN correspondent Sharon Munjenjema shares more insights. Like two peas in a pod, the ANC and ZANU-PF stand side by side, through it all, storms included. We are very happy that ZANU-PF has emerged victorious here in Zimbabwe because uh, the victory of Zimbabwe signal one thing, the defeat of puppets. Uh, it's uh, signaling one thing, the defeat of imperialist uh, puppets. Uh, in our continent, and uh, we say, Amanda. The secretary generals from the two parties met at ZANU PF headquarters today to exchange notes and set agenda for their future meetings. As you are aware, we have uh, a lot of programs as secretary generals of the liberation movements. We discussed you know, such uh, programs together and also the prepared an agenda for our um, meetings that are likely to take place as soon as this is possible and um, you know, shared perspectives on quite a number of areas affecting or uh, afflicting our organizations. Mbalula and his team also toured the Liberation City site where the African Museum of Liberation is located. He pledged support from South Africa towards the construction of the museum. It's a very innovative and important uh, uh, project uh, which uh, will not only preserve but educate generations to come. So this is very important uh, uh, for our cause in African continent. What ZANU-PF is doing here is absolutely important and uh, we do participate here as the ANC through Phoebe Potgitter and the, some of the outstanding contributions we have to make will ensure when we go back home they are fast tracked. The Institute for African Knowledge which is spearheading in construction at the site is looking forward to contributions from the region. We have got some very concrete promises uh, from countries like Mozambique and South Africa now and so on. When completed the African Museum of Liberation will not only preserve history of Zimbabwe and South Africa's struggle against colonizers, but that of the entire continent. Sherman Jenjema for Satian News.